Watch this video to find out who your Hapoel Foundation community ambassadors are and what they're up to. We ran a design sprint here in the Bureau of Hapoel offices back in January and the aim of this was to bring together people within the built environment professions. So that's kind of Hapoel Foundation alumni, people from Bureau of Hapoel, academics, external professionals, experts in their field to get us all together and sort of get start thinking like, how can we as, as professionals in this field make some sort of humanitarian change and the design sprint is such a good way of kind of just having a chance to sit and think through and go through thought processes of developing one idea which we could take forward into the future or collating loads of different ideas from different groups which could be taken forward in the future. Last year we tried to engage with our network more and expand this past the alumni community we currently have. Um, we did this by trying to engage with people on LinkedIn, so we set up a LinkedIn group. And we started off conversations and discussion around the SDGs and how we thought we could um, implement or bring about change about the SDGs in our everyday lives and our work and what we do. The Global Engineering Congress brought together built environment professionals and engineers from across the world to discuss the sustainable development goals and the importance of tackling them. We attended the Global Engineering Congress to join and influence the conversation around SDGs um, and to take those away, those findings, and report back to our community, which we have done through um, blog posts. Um, uh, and not only that, we were able to network with fellow professionals um, and continue those conversations with them after the event. Anna Bruni, one of our trustees from the Apple Foundation, led an innovation workshop um, about how we can find disruptive new ways to uh, change the way that we work at the moment. Uh, and using a systems thinking approach, we came up with a lot of great ideas as to how we could implement those changes in our day to day lives. So in 2019, we really want to focus on diversifying and expanding our network that we've been building on in 2018. As part of this, we'd like to engage more directly with schools and universities and start creating new relationships in the academic field. We really want to capitalise on social media and the opportunity that, that presents in terms of reaching new people and um, new groups. And finally, following our participation in the Global Engineering Congress with the ICE, we'd like to continue working with them, all, especially on um, initiatives and uh, sustainability. Head over to our website at hapoldfoundation.org in order to find out the areas in which you can get involved with. These include engineering futures, engineering education, engineering thinking and engineering for human development. We'd love to hear from you and find out how you'd like to help.